Okay, we've got a demi lamp from Smart Garden. It takes three AAA batteries and it's made in China. I bought this for £1.99. You convert that to your own currency. And it was from Home Bargains. Not £1.99. I had a bit of stringy, but it's great. It works. Look, you turn the light on and ideal. I mean, put it on the wall. It looks quite nice on the wall as well. Got a little, got a little hook here. The only thing I find wrong with it is the blue. I'd much rather it black. So, notice how it's been put together. It's got some Phillips screws on it. And I'm thinking to myself, if it's easy enough to take off, I could spray it black. Well, let's have a go, shall we? Maybe it's me, but all I can see is an old fashioned UFO. Remember the UFO, you know, I want to believe kind of pictures. <laughs> Do you know what? I might actually, that's an idea that. What if I could turn this here into, you know, the X-Files, I want to believe photo, you know, the the poster, the obligatory poster that every sci-fi fan's got. I was actually going to buy one from uh, eBay, but they're like seven, eight quid. I'm thinking, oh, it's a lot of money. So just give me an idea. What do you reckon? If I, if I spray this, I turn this black, right? And then I, you know, I could actually create a photo and put it, a poster and put it on this wall here in my shed. If I put that there like that in my shed and then create a photo, <laughs> that'd be quite good. So then if I want a bit of light, I can do that. Hmm, there's an idea. That's what I'm going to do. I've decided now. Now I've got to, what I first have to do is go online get a copy of the photo, the poster, sorry, and recreate it. If I can recreate it on that wall, there, on my shed wall, next to that, next to that. So that's what I'll do. I'm gonna put that there, like maybe a little tilt, and then I want to believe the X-Files. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy that. So, there we go. So I'm just spraying this black, I'm going to create a kind of wall poster type thing from the X-Files. Yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, here we are. Let's have a look. Got my trusty Roebuck Phillips. Right. So hopefully if I just take maybe these two off. Let's have a look. If I take these two off, I should just come off. Let's have a look what we can do. Off. Don't lose the screw. So what's holding it there then? Ah, I got it. That's what it was. Didn't work. There was one more screw. I'll take that out, put that there. That should come out now, ah, that's it. Look at that. So that's that done. So this is off. Now all I have to do is spray that. And 
put it back together. Right, let's on to the next one. Okay, I've given it a wipe with a bit of tissue. I'm outside, by the way. All this stuff in my shed. So I'll just give it a quick look. It's got much grease on it. I've seen the greasy parts. And I'm gonna spray it. Now, seeing as I'm a cheapskate anyway, um, the paint I'm gonna use is Auto Extreme Black Matte. Now this was only a pound from a shop in Britain called Poundland. Not everything's a pound anymore, by the way. They sell things for two pound and a fiver. But anyway, most of the stuff's uh, rubbish, but every now and then you get a gem. Now this is that, that spray. And here we go. Let's have a look, see what happens. See how it sprays. That's not bad, is it? And give that minutes to dry, and we'll come back and check it. I might spray underneath that little dent you see there. That was on it anyway, and I'm not an expert sprayer. But this is just for my shed anyway, so it's good. Let's come back to it in 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. All right. So that seems to have uh, dried okay. I've got some gloves on now because I don't want to put grease all over it now, do I? Yeah, it stinks. So let's get it back to the shed. Okay, time to put this back together. Let's get these out of the way first. Right. The reason why I'm wearing gloves is just that I don't want to get any ink. Ink. I don't want to get any grease spots right now. Because the paint's still quite fresh. Okay, I'll cut back and I'll put the rest of the screws back in. Then you'll come back and it'll be all put together and things will be good. Double check. Yes. All right. Nice. I don't know if you can get it. No. Nope. I was thinking to myself, why have I got one screw left over? Oh, I know what it's for. It's for the battery holder that goes on there. And that screw goes in there. And that holds the batteries in place. I don't know why they need such a severe thing because at the end of the day, look at that. At the end of the day, What do you think? Not bad. Okay, all done, all back together. It's time to make that poster. Okay, so what we'll have to do now is figure out where on this wall it's gonna go, kind of thing, obviously. It's gonna go here somewhere, put it on the wall, and then figure out how far down below the writing's gonna be, and then figure out how am I going to put the writing on the wall? Shall I stencil it like that? I made a stencil for that. That's when you obviously you can tell it's homemade. But it's, I thought afterwards I should have put that in the middle. But that's why I'm going to have to fit this side now. Or shall I make a stencil with words, with letters and smaller writing this time? Now, do I do the letters black and leave it as a white background? 
or do I spray black like I did there on that one and then have the letters in white so we'll see I don't know but anyway tune in next time see the next video and see whether we're going to go with black writing on white or white on black and uh, whether we're going to stencil it or get stick on letters and see how it goes <laughs>